Hey, how are you? Nice of you to join me in my backyard. It's about uh, 85, 86 degrees, going up to uh, over 90 today. And I'm getting ready to work on my uh, Jones bar installation. So I have to wipe this down with alcohol so I can put the bar tape on, on clean. And then I have to put the uh, attachment point for the Ortlieb handlebar bag on here so I'll know where not to put the bar tape. So I'll, I'll do the installation of that first and uh, I'll show you that in a minute. And then I'll do the bar tape. I'm not gonna film every waking second of what I'm doing here because it would be 45 minutes long. I'm just working through it. I'll film it in drips and drabs, okay? See ya. So this is the uh, rack for the Ortlieb and this is the extension piece that I bought and this just fits in here like this and then it is uh, strapped to the handlebar. Um, that's kind of hard to understand but uh, I'll try to show you a little bit about what I'm doing. And so you basically wrap this uh, cable around the handlebars and the stems and at the end of the day you tighten it up and I gotta get it in the hole here. And so here is the bracket for the Ortlieb um, handlebar pack. Basically, and it's hard to see because it's black, you've got a cable that runs through um, this entire bracket and gets woven around the handlebars and the, uh, and the stem. And that's all there is to it. And as you can see, this is out in front of the uh, upper loop on the Jones bar, and it's a perfect situation. I'm going to put the handlebar bag on now and let you see what it looks like. And so here's my Ortlieb handlebar bag. It's a six liter bag, so it's, it's that kind of space I did not want to give up. It's very handy. And uh, with the extension, it fits perfectly. And it's all uh, magnetically released, so I can get to it while I'm riding. So this is for bike touring. This is this is a perfect place to keep uh, snacks um, and even camera equipment. So uh, now that this is on, I can see where I need to wrap my handlebar tape. So I'm going to go ahead and mark that and then watch a YouTube video on how to do it because I've only done road bikes. I've never done anything quite this confined. So um, we'll see how it works out. Okay, I've got the bar tape pretty much on uh, one side of the bar. This, um, this area up here is the tricky one you know, where you have to kind of go around a corner, but uh, seem to have gotten it in there all right. And um, just going to finish it off and tape it up and then uh, get on to the other side. So it's all good. Okay, we're out in the sunshine and the bracket's on, the bar tape's on, and I left this open for lights or anything else that needs to be attached directly to the metal. And uh, it came out pretty good. Uh, the wrapping job, that was my first first time so it's not perfect at all but and you can see the way this bracket goes around here and, and is in nice and tight so I got my uh, handlebar bag to fit life is good and today I'm going to put one of the two grips on the other grip is already on and I'll show you that in a minute uh, this grip has to be cut down and cutting down the grip is uh, is going to be it's going to be tricky because there's no real neat way to get a clean cut. Um, I talked to the company and they use a special tool that cuts the ends off nice and clean. But uh, I don't have that tool, so I'm going to be using a very sharp knife and hopefully we'll get it close to nice. So um, stand by and uh, we'll put that grip on. So here's the first grip. Um, I put that on last night. It was uh, an interesting process. Um, put the bar plug on first 
and then you lubricate the daylights out of the grip uh, with a couple of different things and then slide it on and it, it worked out pretty well and uh, on this side though uh, that same grip uh, which fit perfectly will not fit because the, sh the twist shifter uh, takes up uh, some of the space that doesn't exist on the other side of the uh, Jones bar. So uh, we'll see how this all works out. So the first thing you do is you take the uh, end bar and the directions on the site say to trim it. This one comes already trimmed uh, so there's no need to to uh, to trim this particular bar end and then you very gently uh, pound it in with a uh, with a mallet and life is good um, I also have to clean the bar off I cleaned it off already but I'm going to do it again with isopropyl alcohol and uh, and then I'm going to measure and mark and then cut with my grandmother's ancient chef knife uh, the bar end. I practiced this on another grip and uh, it it's not perfect uh, that's for sure but as I said uh, you're not going to get it perfect unless you have a special tool and I'm not about to buy that. Okay nice and gentle so we don't mar it. That's just as pretty as can be. Uh, so, um, I need to go uh, measure this and then mark it. Ah, my pencil needs to be sharpened. <laughs> but I got the mark on there, that's fine. Okay, now for the cut. Okay, I remarked this and I checked. This is, like I said, my grandmother's 100 year old knife. I think the best way to do this is to not deform the grip, but just run this lightly across. It's not too bad. Okay, the process I used on the uh, other side was to put hand sanitizer on the grip. And this is supposed to lubricate the process. And then you put your finger in one end of the grip and pour isopropyl alcohol in the other end and just shake it up get it all coated inside and then take your hand out and drip the isopropyl alcohol over and then Hopefully, I can get this on before everything dries out. Okay. left just enough space right there for the shifter teeth to move around and I want to get it so at least the clean cut is visible on top and so my hands smell good they're sanitized and the grips on life is good okay the grips have been installed okay I did watch a uh, YouTube video where one person was complaining mightily about these grips moving. This grip I put on last night 
and the alcohol and the hand sanitizer combination is dried and there's no movement whatsoever. So here is, uh, here is my Jones Bar installation, 100% complete, everything's tightened up. My Ortlieb handlebar bag fits perfectly. I have the short grip over here, the long grip over there, and snack bags are on, Garmin's on, so the cockpit lights on, and my camera uh, mount is on for my 360 camera, and so the cockpit is complete, 100% ready to go, and uh, I'm going to take this out for a test ride and film it and uh, check it out and see how it feels. Uh, just a postscript on the uh, on the grips. Uh, these grips are put out by ESI and I must say they sent me the wrong grips. They realized they sent me the wrong grips before I even received them. They told me to keep the grips that I received and then they would send me the new grips uh, via express mail. So uh, this is the grip that I, uh, I received. It, it wasn't long enough. It's, uh, I guess, a 60 gram grip. I guess that's regular size. But what I found out was the grip that I had to trim um, was exactly this size. So if you have a Jones bar and if you have a rotating shifter that's going to make one grip smaller than the other, uh, if I had it to do over again, I would probably order the extra, extra long and the uh, 60 gram or the regular. Um, that way I'd have two sets of grips. These things do wear out. I'd have two sets of grips. Uh, the long one would fit on one side. The short one would fit perfectly on the other side. And uh, life would be extremely good uh, for the next couple of years. Uh, swap them out uh, when the first set goes south and you'd be all set. So just a, just a tip.